Hey guys, Igor here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw better stick people. So let's begin with the basic stick person. I think this is something that we've all drawn variations of before, for example, in Hangman. And we've even seen online animations of those stickmen fighting videos where they use more or less the same kind of construction for the characters. So here I'm doing a time-lapse video of drawing this the stick people in different poses using this kind of standard basic style. But there is this inherent issue I feel with this design. And the problem is that if a stick person is supposed to represent a human person, then the anatomy does not really reflect that. And we can fix this issue by adding two extra lines. And that is a cross section for the shoulders and another line for the hips. For this design, I did also add hands and feet represented in as simple of a way as possible so that you can further express poses and get a sense of direction or what the character is doing. The other thing you can do is, if you see here, I have drawn in red the same exact position for the spine, the shoulder, and hips, but have moved the limbs into different areas. So now the character, instead of standing, looks like he might be skipping or preparing to jump. So now let's take a look at a few other poses that I drew with this style. And one thing that I like to think about when creating these stick poses is the center of balance and how I shift the shoulders, you know, which side do I want higher or lower? And then the hips need to correlate to that so that the character doesn't look too off balance unless that is my intended purpose. So here you could see me doing something simple like a kick, I don't know, a fighting stance, just a regular slouching position. And I will show you a lot more examples later in the video that are more detailed than this. But this is a great starting point to get comfortable with because every character that you see on the big screen in an animation movie or something like that will have a wireframe skeleton. And if you want to think about it in a way, these stick people drawings, you're basically drawing the wireframe skeleton that's inside of this fleshed out character. So where do we go from the wireframe skeleton? Well, the next step would be to add a little bit of volume. And here is an example of that. As you can see, it still somewhat resembles the basic shape of the stick person, but the biggest difference being that the line that represented the shoulders and the line that represented the hips are now filled in with this torso down the middle. Now our character looks a little bare bones, so let's see what happens when I decide to add some clothing and other small details to him. And as you can see, the end result is pretty convincing. Here I have a time lapse of doing some of these different army men drawings using very similar methods of having this wireframe skeleton that I build some volume on, but mostly let the different clothing and accessories that the character wears do the heavy lifting for making the character look believable. So things like the helmet covering his head, having a little bit of shadow underneath that, well, it kind of makes it not as important to draw out the face at that point. Uh, things like the ruffles in his shirt, a belt, whatever holster or ammo pouches that he's wearing, they cover up a lot of the body itself. So being able to figure out the original pose of the character is done through the wireframe and then having all of these different pieces of clothing and accessories on top of that flesh out the character and now make it look much more believable, much more detailed, and in my opinion, much more interesting. So I try to vary up the proportions, the styles, having a couple of characters look a little bit more realistic, having some look a lot more cartoony, like the guy on the top left, you can see he has very short legs compared to the rest of his body. And 
I am using this as an example to show that proportions aren't everything when it comes to drawing stick people in this way, if you even want to call them stick people at this point. The previous video that I did on these characters, a lot of people said it was kind of hard to see, and that's because I was recording with a camera while drawing on paper, so hopefully the digital version comes across a bit cleaner and you can kind of follow what I'm doing a little bit easier. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was drawing all of these clothing and accessories, the guns or the mop that he's holding, for example. How does that work? Like, how do you go about drawing that? And one of the tips that I would give is try to create an impression of these things instead of spending too much time fleshing out the details like crazy. The soldier on the left that's squatted over, half of him is shaded in with scribbles, but these scribbles could be folded fabrics, zippers, pockets, and that is what fills all of these like imaginative voids for you know somebody looking at this character. So you don't even need to spend that much time drawing this stuff out. But having these scribbles in there, you know, placed somewhat strategically gives the impression of wearing a lot of things or carrying a particular item. That's what completes the picture for somebody looking at it. So here you see me drawing more examples of different characters. Again, I tried to vary up the poses to show that, you know, you can you can basically start with this skeleton wire design and when you're comfortable enough with this technique you no, no longer even have to resort to drawing the stick person you kind of picture how the stick man looks in your mind and then you just start drawing out the volume around those bones now I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up a little bit more than it already has been. This is at six times speed now, just so we can see a little bit more of the characters being drawn. But I want you guys to see that all of these different poses, you know, the subject matter is still somewhat the same. It's just army dudes. They're all wearing a helmet, or most of them are, you know, they're either holding a gun or throwing something else. And this technique should work with all sorts of other characters, whether it be a businessman or a ninja or a sailor or a ballerina in a dress, you know, whatever it is you want to do, as long as you make sure that the pose and the appearance match what kind of character you're trying to represent, it should work. The other thing I wanted to mention is that even though I'm working on these drawings in Photoshop with a Wacom into his tablet or whatever in a pen it doesn't mean that you cannot do the same thing with a pencil or a ballpoint pen or an ink pen or even markers or crayons uh, you definitely can the idea for this tutorial or this little example was to use digital in a way that traditional could replicate and the main benefit of doing it this way is that hopefully you guys get better visibility when watching the video. Uh, even though you see me erasing quite a bit, I do tend to do that even when working with a pencil. I'll just sketch really lightly until I like the lines that I've put down, you know, as I erase the pencil lines that I don't. And then I'll go to an ink pen or a ballpoint pen, draw over that, and then you can go back and erase the remaining pencil lines and you know you have your drawing. I think I've pretty much covered everything I want to when it comes to drawing these stick people. It's a fairly straightforward technique. You know, just make sure that the pose reads well and then you can add to that. So let's go ahead and take a look at a bunch of the other soldiers that I've drawn at various stages, you know, keeping them in stick form to having a little bit of volume fleshed out to having clothing and posing. So taking a look at all of the different characters I've done, here we have some more wireframe basic sketches. And then alongside those, I've included some that have the torso added to them so that the arms connect to it. And I like using straight lines every now and then to over-exaggerate 
a character stretching or pulling or jumping so you'll see that throughout the pieces I've done ones that are a little bit more detailed where he's halfway through his reload or another soldier taking a drag of a cigarette with a pistol on the other hand and with that said guys I think that'll wrap it up for this video as always thank you so much for watching hopefully you found this video informative so get out there draw some stick people tag me on Instagram at iChaban I'd love to see what you guys come up with and if you have any questions, leave me a comment down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.